Somebody said, why did they tell the kids story? They don't know what happened in the past. They don't need to know the culture. The culture is the very important thing to know every human being in this world. We got to know where we come from. We come from the Athabascan people and the caribou is here with us thousands of years. My name is Elisa Morris and I'm the Environmental Education Specialist. So this week in Arctic Village, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is hosting an annual culture and science camp named Camp Gunji, which means wisdom and knowledge in the Gwich'in language. And we are working with all the students at the Arctic Village School from grades kindergarten to 12th grade. This camp is about exposing the students to their traditional culture by inviting elders and community members to participate. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and other collaborators, we teach the science behind everything that's happening within the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. It's the combination, I think, of culture and science coming together, and it works so well up here. Tomorrow, your elder Trimble will be here in the morning to share his wisdom and knowledge of your culture. Well, my name is Trimble Gilbert. I'm 87 years old. I was born and raised here, and I know a lot of things about uh, cultures and, uh, and also this land. So every year, caribou keep coming around. A porcupine hurt. There was almost 2,000. Now, uh, Camp Konji, that camp we have here, it's good for the good for them to learn. When I grew up around here, there's no school until 17 years old. I never went to school very much. So that's one of the reasons I really like to see the young people to attend the school here. So they learn lots from from this camp. So what do you think on their body helps them swim? Uh, yes. Their tail. Who can describe it? Yes. I'm, I'm turning into a beaver now. Yeah. <laughs> How do you say beaver in the kitchen? Okay, so this is Lily Ward Lee and she is teaching me Gwich'in. So how do you say Martin? Sook. How do you say river otter? Tre. How do you say weasel? Avi. Thank you. <laughs> we have researchers who are guest instructors at the camp and they're currently doing research within the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. We have geologists and uh, people who specialize in plate tectonics. And we also have a scientist who is studying antlers and bones, finding out really, really cool things about the history and really neat stuff about Arctic Refuge. Yes! Yes! Good, yes. All right, we'll, we'll clean that off. Has anyone heard of radiocarbon dating before? No. It's a way you can get an idea of how old uh, an antler is. You become an expert at something, that's when you got to be really, really careful and take your time and, you know, go through those mental checklists of what you're doing. My name is Cody Smith. I'm a federal wildlife officer with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, so I'm here at Camp Gunji this week teaching firearm safety and uh, hunter education to the children here at the school in Arctic Village. And what that's looking like is just bringing a handful of unloaded firearms into the classroom showing these kids how to safely handle them. When I asked them the question, you know, how many of you have been hunting with a parent? And it was like, <sighs> across the classroom. Firearm safety is so important to this community specifically here because they're exposed to firearms on so many levels. I would argue that probably every household in the community here has a firearm of some kind in it. Camp Gunji is unique because of where these youth are at. You know, we're, we're teaching them about things that are right outside their backyard. 
the stuff we're talking about is really like hits home to them. You know, whether it's the firearm safety stuff or geology or the wildlife, it's all right here outside their classroom window. And so um, everything we've been talking about this week is really pertinent to what these kids are experiencing every day out here. So we keep telling the kids, this is your land. That's what I told them up there. So when do we go out and then we're teaching them about the mountain and the lake and all that, they have to know this is your country. They're the future leaders of their community, of their culture. But this place, I always say, it makes you younger. Other places make you older. This place here makes you younger. Maybe this is the Eden. Speak up and be proud of who you are. And I love how proud they are, so I feel like combining the science with the culture is really important and it complements each other so well. They're some of the most skilled students I've, I've ever met, so it's really just giving them more tools to put in their toolbox and to allow them to feel connected to the land and, and the resources that are their backyard. It's just complementing what they know. My name is Lily. My name is Sonora. Eleanor Peter. It's Adam Smith. And I'm from Arctic Village. Arctic, Arctic Village. And I am from Arctic Village, Alaska. We just had three school days with them. I mean, that's just, that's not a lot. And we make these really close connections with them. I wish I could spend more time with them. So it's really special. It's really special that we get invited into the school and get to do this, because it's such an honor. It's like, I know I'll be back here, but the fact that I have to jump on a plane and I won't see these kids for another year, like. <laughs> That's my treasure until my last day. Don't make my time. I like to share with what I learned. That's my favorite thing to do in my life. When people bring people in together, they kind of regroup it, happy. Just like a long time ago. So we raise our children here. That's how the best going to wait. I think we all have the commonality that we love to learn. What could be more special than that?